یوم نتو سما کتی سجل للیل کتب جسٹ امیجن دی ڈے دی ڈومس ڈے وین وی شیل رول اپ وین وی شیل رول اپ آل دی ہیونس جسٹ ایز دی رولنگ آف اے اسکرول فار رائٹنگ یو نو ان دی اینشنٹ ڈیز بکس فار ناٹ ماؤنڈ لائک دس دے یوز ٹو بی ان اسکرولس ون پیپر یو ہیو ریٹن ناؤ پیسٹ این ادر ون اینڈ یو جسٹ رول اٹ اینڈ ناؤ سیکنڈ یو آر رولنگ رولنگ اینڈ رولنگ آن رائٹنگ اینڈ رولنگ سو دیز آر کال دی اسکرولس Now today we don't have scrolls, to, we have books, bound books, leaves and bound books. But the simile here is, Yawma natwi sama katayya sajil lil kutub. The day when we shall roll up heaven like the rolling up of a scroll for writing. Kama badana awwala khalqin uridahu. As we, have, we had originated them in the first creation, we shall restore it. Vadan alayna. This is a promise binding on us. Inna kunna fa'ileen. And we shall definitely do it. Now here we can understand there is the theory of expanding universe. The universe is expanding. Expanding, 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 going on. But then there is a theory. The time will come when expansion will start. And inward rolling, reverse rolling will start. And that inverse rolling will start. might be the whole universe again comes to one spot just as the galaxies have come to one holes which we call the black holes you know in in the in the space black holes there used to be some very big galaxy over here it collapsed and now there's only a hole very dreadly hole everything passing by that goes there and vanishes so in the same way this whole universe might become again you know it started from one point the big bang and big bang it started expanding and expanding and expanding but a time will come when it will roll back and it will again come to the starting point kama badana awwala khalqin wa'iduhu as we had originated them in the first creation we shall make them return to the same وَلَقَدْ قَدَمْنَا فِي الزُّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ And we had write, written it down in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition, أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ That the earth will inherit the land. My righteous servants will inherit the land, the earth. Now it, has, it can have two means. Meanings, number one, that the, the earth here, the land here, which is mentioned is the land of paradise. The land of paradise will be inherited by people who have done good deeds, the believers. Another thing can mean that before the end of this world, a time will come that the whole this world will be ruled by the people who are righteous, who are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to this effect, we have a clear prophecy of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That before the end of this world, Islam will dominate the whole of the globe. لا يبقى على ظهر الأرض بيت وبر ولا بدر إلا أدخله الله كلمة الإسلام. The hadith in Musnad Ahmad ibn Hanbal uh, from Miqdad ibn Aswad رضي الله عنه that not a single house will remain made of bricks and clay and not a single tent will remain of the nomads. in which Allah will not make the deen of Allah, Islam, enter. This will happen. So a global domination of the deen of Allah. This is Khilafah ala min hajin nabuwa. And the Prophet has said, this period will come again. The Khilafah ala min hajin nabuwa, just after the death of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that was the Khilafah Rashida, we know it. The Caliphate, pious Caliphate. The same system will again be established on this earth. So that, this ayah can mean that also. وَلَقَدْ كَتَمْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الزِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ We had already written in Zabur, in Psalms, after the admonition, that this land will be inherited by our righteous servants. Either before the end of this world, there is a global domination of the Muslim Ummah and Islam established as a deen, as a social order over the whole of the world. Or after the end of this world, the land of paradise will be inherited by our righteous servants. In fi hadha la balagha liqawmin abedin. And in this is surely 
a message for the worshippers who worship us wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin and we have not sent you o muhammad but a mercy for all the nations of the world this is again a hint because if he has been sent for the whole of the world now his deen which he brought with him must be dominant over the whole of the world huwa alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa din al haqq li yuzhirahu ala al din kulli he has he was sent by allah subhanahu wa taala with the, this deen of haqq in order to make it supreme so when he has been sent for the whole of humanity and for all the world so then the deen of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that is deen al haqq that is deen allah deen allah and deen muhammad the same that will dominate the whole of the globe qul inna ma yuha ilayya anna ma ilahukum ilahu wahid tell them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is being revealed to me this wahi has come to me that your lord is only one god falantum muslimun so do you surrender yourself to him or not fain tawallo if they turn their faces faqul azantukum ala sawa so proclaim that i have conveyed to you the message alike all alike i have spoken to the rich to the poor i have spoken to the high to the low i have preached in your streets i have knocked at your doors i have talked to you in privately i have addressed you in public i have done whatever i could do azan to kum ala sawa wa in adri ya qareebun baidu ma tu adu now this i don't know whether the chastisement that is promised to you has come near or it is a bit far off maybe allah subhanahu wa taala gives you a further respite maybe i don't know maybe that chastisement has come to your doorsteps i don't know this is this knowledge is with allah innahu ya'lamu al-jahra min al-qawl he allah knows whatever is spoken aloud wa ya'lamu ma taktubun and he knows what you can see in your hearts he knows everything wa in adri la lahu fa yatallaqun and i don't know i can't say maybe it is going to be another test for you wa mataun ilahin or maybe an enjoyment and respite for some time qala rabbihkum bil haqq and finally the prophet now he is calling upon allah subhanahu wa taala rabbihkum bil haqq oh my lord now give the judgment final judgment with truth these words depict the psychological position of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was also now fed up i have taken much pains I have spent ten, eleven years, a small city, and I have been preaching here for ten, eleven, twelve long years. So now, oh Lord, your judgment should come. Qal Rabbihum bil Haq. Oh my Lord, now give the final judgment with truth. But Abuna Rahman al Mustaan wa Alamat Asifun, and our Lord is Rahman, the compassionate one. and only his help can be sought on those things which you are describing about him 